Cat, it's Maximus here. This time with a review of the Klein Tools ET900. They actually have an ET910. This is a USB digital multimeter and tester. They do have a few different versions. Let's get this open. They have one that's also a load tester. Even though this one says resistance, it's kind of calculating based on the voltage and current that's being drawn. So it's not as accurate as the one that they have that's uh, for load testing. And they also have one that has a USB-C and a USB-A. Get that plastic packaging open. Definitely pretty tough. There we go. This appears to be a little instruction manual. Actually, not so little. It's pretty significant. Anyway, that's a basic little manual. Let's get the unit out of here. What? So this thing was like $17 at the orange box. It's a decent little price. The, what got me is that it has one of these little more advanced dot matrix screens. Although, for well, the price and being a Klein Tools, I mean, they have a lot of certifications embossed. It is up to 3 amps and 20 volts DC, so Qualcomm Quick Charge uh, compatible. Although, one thing I'm a little disappointed about is it has a white plug, so it's if you're using this in a device that also is transferring data, it's only USB 2.0 course USB 3.0 would be the blue plug and there is a standard for Qualcomm quick charge it's the green plug and so it would be nice if Klein would have done that although this is pretty nice packaging this cable does feel pretty good it'd be nice if it was braided this right here is not a strain relief I mean it's a softer plastic than the orange plastic but over lots of use the cable is going to get kinked right there so they could have done a bit better job of that although a USB cable is something that you can replace, even though they say no user serviceable parts. Let's plug this in. Some of the comments about this was that you would always have to cycle through all the memory modes. Oh, I see. It actually boots up. Let's go ahead and do that again here. Reversion 2.0. Ah, so there is a 1.0 out there. So this is the big deal about this little guy is it measures... It's kind of like a, the kilowatt power measuring tools where you can use it. And this is part of what I got it for is say uh, something like this, where, you know, if I have a charger that, like this, which still gives me volts and amps, it allows me to do diagnostics, like lets me know if a quick charge cable isn't working properly, or maybe the device isn't set to quick charge, or just is allowing you to diagnose, diagnose USB ports and say a, a vehicle. A common issue is, is that you'll get five volts displayed. But when you actually put on a load, it will shut down and then reset. And so this is something that can do that. But the handy thing about batteries is you can plug it into something like this and get an idea of exactly how many amps or capacity you're driving back into a, uh, a device. Actually, I'm going to turn off the lights because it's a little easier to see. Real quick, I had done a review earlier of this PT tools. This one is a real basic one where it just uh, displays volts and amps real kind of cheesy it's not particularly accurate at all um i mean it's reasonably accurate but it reads way low it's a little disappointing but that's a real basic one so this klein is a lot better let me get this light off because you can see the display a little bit easier actually maybe you can't there we go that's not too bad finally get this connected in here and let's see what it looks like it has a decently rigid plug in there let me plug it into this. How about that? So now we're uh, looking at the ohms. Let me turn the light back on. Yeah, the camera has a hard time with the contrast on that. It's <laughs> surprisingly a lot clearer. So we can see counting the milliamp hours. It has an estimated output uh, rating. I can, it's, some people have commented that this thing gets warm. And uh, I will do some longer term testing. I, I don't have anything that would reach the maximum capabilities of this, which is supposedly 60 watts. Uh, but if you're going to use it to measure watt hours and amp hours, that would be a nice thing. I did want to quickly mention that this is indeed a version 2. So one of the real issues with the version 1, and obviously Klein listened to that because... Um, it has these 10 memory modes and you would just press and hold for a few seconds it'll remember you know the the readings that it has which is kind of handy if you're using it for diagnosis and you want to show somebody but the real issues is they had like a basic readout screen and then this which is known as the more advanced readout screen and you would have to actually hit this 
uh, memory button or this mode button 10 times to cycle through it. So they fix that and you can press and hold it for five seconds and clear all the memory positions. So I did want to mention that earlier uh, firmware and usability issues have at least been worked on. So it has a really nice screen. I think this one is quite a bit better than this PT, which is still like eight bucks. It's actually a quantum leap above that. I guess the only other test that we could really do is I have a USB-C adapter. We'll see if it just acts different when I use an adapter through a USB-C plug. Nope, it seems to work just the same, so that's fine. Let's see what it does on a uh, higher output device here. For instance, these drone batteries here, which are a 12 volt by uh, 2 amps, so 24 watts. And let's see how it cooperates. The only thing I don't like about it is the decimal point looks a whole lot more like a dash that's a little bit low, so they could have improved that on the font. But uh, otherwise, it's at least it's apparently compatible up to 12 volts, which is something I would assume, but it's always nice to verify every once in a while some of these devices uh, when you use them with quick chargers, they don't exactly translate properly and may not pick up properly. So this one's at least working well. Not much else to say, but as far as these little USB diagnostic uh, tools are, this Klein still is a pretty decent one, at least being able to pick it up. Like <laughs> I found this one at the orange box. I guess they could have centered the screen a little bit better, and like I said, had a better core, but overall, it's pretty decent. And now that they've upgraded the firmware, so it's just a little bit easier to to uh, view the information and always starts up in this the screen that everybody always the advanced screen anyway I think it's a decent little tool and it can certainly help out with a variety of people just because it's compatible with a pretty good range of USB products and or voltage and power ranges I should say and you know allows you to diagnose cables and in automotive it certainly will be handily diagnosing a lot of uh, USB ports and always wanted one of these little dot matrix screen one so I think it's pretty cool anyway I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time Caddis Maximus out